You guys really have a pregnant mother at working out in the drive-thru? Um, yeah, we only keep people out there for just a little bit. A pregnant mother in the drive-thru okay, where it's not as You shouldn't be here. Okay, thank you. you don't have a, a, Okay, I'm the only one working right now. All yeah, right? but I'm without anything? Right. Without anything, you have Goodbye. a Goodbye. 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 Wow, you shouldn't be here. Throw off all the cops. Yeah, you call the cop. I will. I want to hear. Yeah. I will. Welcome back to the channel. This is GB Speaks Facts, and today I'm here to speak some facts. And the fact that today is moral grandstanding is something a Karen is level 100 in. So let us take a look at some entitled Karens together. Right after you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell. Now we can start the video. So this Mr. Karen decides to storm into the drive through and give the workers a piece of his mind about a pregnant mom having to work. So, uh... You guys really have a pregnant mother at working out in the drive through Um, yeah, we only keep people out there for just a little bit. A pregnant mother in the drive through where it's not designed for even people to be in? You guys have sunk to a new low. Sir, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. It's, it's... Oh, don't apologize to me. You put somebody, you would put a pregnant mother in a, for cars with no protection? That's just avarice and greed. To, there's yeah. no limit to that greed, level of greed. I, I understand what you're saying, and I, I, I trust you that you know, we take we keep, take care of our employees, and that's something we probably need to think about a little bit better. So nobody, you know. nobody, in their right mind, we shouldn't have anybody out here. These aren't areas aren't designed for people to stand in. Yeah, so, it's all greed. Okay, I understand you may think it's convenient to get yeah. more customers yeah. through, so we get our food faster. Sure. Maybe that was the idea. Sure, um, but you're selling. Yeah. Tens of thousands of dollars worth of food. I understand. A, a pregnant mom. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. you that sure. doesn't escalate above anything worse. Yeah. I, You've already had one employee get hit and rode over because they told me about it. Yeah, I understand what you're saying and I appreciate, I appreciate No steel toe you. safety shoes, no vests. Not, you have vests but you don't even use them. Sir, I, I appreciate your comments, but um, I don't think so we're because just, we're going to continue to run our business the way that we have it run, okay? So, all right, but you have to go to sleep knowing you put a pregnant mother at risk putting her out there with those cars. Shame on you. All right, appreciate it. I know you don't appreciate yeah. it. You're uh, you're reluctant because you don't like me being here putting this in your we're, face. We're, no, I, I don't like that we're slowing down all of our other guests right now at this point. So, we we do need to get it going to, to be able to serve them, really. Yes, so, sir. just pure greed. No, sir. Uh, it's about serving the rest of our guests here. Oh, no, there's two sides of that coin. No, the sir. guest is one side. Yeah, you wouldn't serve one of them right if they did, they wouldn't serve one of them if they didn't pay. No, so that's not true. It's great. That's not true. Uh, no, it business operates that way. Shame on you. Okay. Shame on you. The level of moral grandstanding here. Did you think for a second she's maybe working pregnant because she needs money? At least they provided her a job to continue to be able to pay for said child. But no, you wanted your two minutes of fame. But we give shame here, Karen or Darren, whatever you want to call yourself. The obnoxious male Karen in the restaurant tries to pay for his order with a bag of coins. He's on a mission to annoy the staff, all in the name of his twisted entertainment. Nah, bro, I don't want to deal with you. I want to deal with the manager. He's the manager. He needs to start calling here and do his job. You're in customer service, correct? Aren't you the manager? Isn't that what you told me? You're the manager, right? And why don't you come over here and do your job? Thank you. Straight up. Come on. You're not? You're not going to ring me up? You're not going to take my order? So corporate's going to love this video, right? I can't say what I want to do here in this situation since we're on YouTube, but these men did the right thing for the most part. Sir, you have two options. Go wrap those things up in one of those paper or coin wraps or get a job. It's that simple. This male Karen goes into full-on meltdown mode at the drive-thru, screaming like it's the end of the world because his order wasn't prepared the way he wanted, which goes against policy. I have a receipt right here that proves what I bought earlier. Let me see. Well, I don't know why they did it. They shouldn't supposed to do it. Okay, but I have pictures from your website that show the product as I want to order it. I just don't want the bacon or the chili. It's one ingredient. It is one ingredient. Why is that so hard? She's not supposed to 
supposed to do that. That's why we can't do it. That product? That's why <laughs> she gets in trouble. She already got written up for it. That product, as I ordered it, is exactly as it is there without bacon or chili. It's yeah. one ingredient. No, but we just have to do what they say. But we're not supposed to. So what you're trying to tell me is you can't sell the product to me only other than as it is in the picture. Yes. Okay, well, the customer is always right. No, I'm sorry. We, we choose to but buy things that we want to eat, you know not what? the way you want to feed we us. Do, no, we do what we're supposed to do. We okay, we're but to you, can't, you can't sell things to a customer that way. You, you understand? You understand that we have to follow their company procedures because we get in trouble for even if we do what you guys want. So you understand, I can go to any other restaurant here and order something the way I want it. But that's their policy. It's not ours. Okay, you're, you're citing a policy. Do you have that on paper? It's in our, in our thing. We're supposed to follow procedures, and that's what we have to do. What, what, what is your food. name? My name has nothing to do with the policy. What, what is your name, miss? Have a good night. Are you a manager? No, but you, you can't do it. Okay, so you, you want to sit here and say that you can't do something for the customer. So what you're trying to tell me is you can sell food different than the picture you put there to show me exactly what we get with the order that we make. You understand how stupid you sound right now? Do you understand how stupid you sound right now? These ladies in the drive-thru were on a mission to expose the drive-thru staff for their wrong measurements in their drinks. As for a medium, refresher a large. Far, a large and get this just because there's no ice it's half the cup this is ridiculous this is ridiculous you need to fill it up please i'd like to speak to a manager <laughs> okay literally. i do not know ice we can't fill it up all the way we're gonna have to charge you extra for that extra but it's a large cup so you charge for the ice we have to charge for the um product well, you charge, you, you charge, you charge for the ice. Yeah, we would have to use more product to fill it up, though, so we're gonna have to charge for that. We don't charge for the. But ice. shouldn't a large be like a no, large drink? So you charge for the ice. <laughs> you charge for the product. You got no ice, so I'd have to give more product to you. So I would have to charge you for it. That's it with the measurements without the ice. That's retarded. Drive. That makes no sense. That's retarded. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you for not. So I almost fell for this, but I asked the dude before ordering when I was at Starbucks, and the dude was nice enough to expose it to me. This has to be some sort of violation. Mr. Karen decided to harass the poor worker in the restaurant who was already hustling to work fast. He really knows how to make everyone's day just a little bit worse. My name's Michelle. Michelle? Okay. Michelle what? My name's Michelle. You don't need to know my last name. Oh, then you shouldn't be here. Okay, thank you. You shouldn't be here. Okay. You don't have a, a, okay, I'm the only one working right now. All yeah, right, but without anything, without you had a goodbye, goodbye. Wow, you shouldn't be here. Yeah, call the cops. Yeah, call the cops. I will. I want to hear. Yeah. I will. Because the way you acting, the way you uh, okay, uh, treat customers, the, the way okay, you treat customers. Okay, when you leave, you don't treat a customer like that. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, goodbye. 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 Karen's like to play with their food. You effed around, you found out on an empty stomach. It was pure madness in the restaurant when these crazy Karen workers unleashed their fury, screaming and cursing at customers who had the nerve to request a refund. Threaten me again, bitch. Ain't nobody threatening nobody. She just she just she was she was she she money, nigga. She said she coming there. Look, hey, hey y'all, this is Wendy's. This is Wendy's in Grand Haven right here, y'all. Check this. She, she didn't threaten you on nothing. Yeah, she did with my car. Look. Oh, like I know which one's yours. All we're asking for is to get our money yeah, back. Yeah, we want our food. refund for our All food. All we wanted is we ordered two We want our refund for our food, please. You got your food. And you guys Excuse me, we want our refund, please. Ayana, don't do shit. Touch me. Yeah. Touch me. That's what's up. No, she did. I got all on camera. You assaulted her. Customer is trying to hit me. Oh, you lying, stupid. Grand Haven. Ooh. Don't worry, we got all this. We got all this on camera. Y'all ain't giving us our refunds. Y'all ain't giving us our refunds. Y'all ain't. Where's my? Money, please give my money back. I got, 
I got it all on camera, y'all. I got all on camera. Go back to high school. I got it all on camera, y'all. Got it all on camera. Good for you. you can Green, hey, this is just gonna go on Great Haven. Hey, it's gonna go on Great Haven informed. I don't get it. It's not your money. Like, why just not give them the money back? Is it ever worth all this chaos? This racist Karen went full drama queen mode in the restaurant, having a tantrum on the phone with the corporate, complaining and screaming about the workers. She's old. She looks like she might be in her seventies. And uh, she's interrupting the sale of a sandwich. I'm ordering a two-piece sandwich. And she's telling, um, I'm not going to buy that because she put the window down on there so you can start another. So uh, she's ordering with me. A uh, young lady is trying to get, uh, do my sandwich. So she stopped serving a customer. She had a customer at the register. She stopped serving him. She came down to the prep table and stopped the young lady that's fixing a sandwich. She told her no. The young lady was doing like they usually do. They put four to six pieces. Uh, and I'm ordering a ham and turkey. She told the young lady no. Take all the meat off that she had put on the sandwich. She said no, you take that off. And only put four. So I told her she needs to go back to Mexico. She's going to have to swim the water back. That's why... Trump is sending all of them back right now in a truck. He's trying to do border patrol. She's the one making it bad for people that's really coming over here trying to work and get their job done. She's yelling out in the place. There's another customer. She's screaming and yelling. No, no, no. Four, four. So how many pieces go on there? Yes, that's what I told her. That's what the young lady was putting on there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and I told her, I said, ma'am, that's the amount that they put all the time. She said, no, no, no. I'm the manager here. I'm the manager. And I said, well, they don't do that. I said, can you fix it like it's supposed to be? Right. That's, that's the exact amount that she was right. So that was right. I told her that. I, she said, oh, no, 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 no. It don't go like that. No. I saw this clip before, but it was a different part of it. This lady was being hella racist talking to this worker. Regardless to if she was wrong about the order, why does this equate to shipping someone back to their country? This lady was out of pocket in this video if you've seen the full clip. I tell you, moral grandstanding is a Karen's crest of honor. Let me know what you guys think about any of these Karens in today's video, and also check out the screen for some more Karen crazy action if this wasn't your fix. As always, I'm off to hunt more Karens for you guys, so GB's out this bitch. Peace.